Melissa Familia here, you're watching Newsbreak. Last night we witnessed a bit of internet history as the world said goodbye to this little icon here. Yep, Microsoft's Internet Explorer has been retired for good. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gathered here today to say goodbye to an old friend. He was always here for us and it never let us down. <laughs> It's no secret, Internet Explorer did sometimes let us down. In fact, it inspired quite a few memes. But once upon a time, it was the top dog of the net. <clears throat> um, back in the early 1990s, web browsing was a newfangled invention and Microsoft, the world's biggest computer company, wanted a slice of the action. So, in 1995, they launched Internet Explorer and included it in their Windows 95 software. It came pre-installed on billions of computers and quickly became the number one browser on the market, which led to some problems. Computer software giant Microsoft is facing massive penalties for allegedly breaching America's anti-monopoly laws. Basically, it was too successful and other browsers couldn't compete. So Microsoft had to make some changes. Internet Explorer became an optional extra. And then, through the 2000s, there were more problems, including security issues that could allow cybercriminals to steal information. Plus, there was competition from some new safer and faster browsers. In 2015, Microsoft released a new browser, Edge. And last night, they finally retired Explorer for good. And while that might not change the way we search the internet, it's a moment that'll go down in the history books. Oh, get used to that sound, Melbourne, because the Grand Prix is here to stay. This morning, Formula One confirmed the race would stay at Albert Park until at least 2035. Not only that, from next year, there will also be Formula Two and Formula Three events on the race weekend. And since we're all revved up about one car race, let's take a look at another. Students in the NT have been building and racing their own solar cars. Check it out. This may not be Formula One, but it could be the way of the future. These speedy little vehicles are powered by the sun and built by these guys. The young engineers are given just 30 minutes to build their solar cars and fix any problems that might come up. We're experimenting, we just got it to work, but it, it went backwards. We've just got a small problem from the wheels jiggling. Rattling. That sorted, it's time to race. Three, two, one, go! This project is all about sparking interest in renewable energy and careers in STEM. The idea is to get them to really start being enthusiastic of this, about this technology, which is the future. There are so many solar projects happening in the NT and there will be so many jobs when they grow up. That's right. Engineers all around the world are working hard to design real solar cars for us to drive, so we won't have to rely on petrol or electric charging cables. So, is anyone inspired? I'm passionate in solar panels and I'm also, I'm also going to be an astrophysicist. Hello there. Now it's time to thank members of the animal kingdom who do so much for us. <sighs> These next stories are all about our animal friends. Ooh, oh, don't eat me. Friend. You might not take much notice of worms and their day-to-day -day activities, but these super worms could end up doing a lot for us when it comes to plastic waste. Microbiologists in Queensland discovered these little guys can not only survive, but thrive eating styrofoam. Now, while Happy the Elephant has been entertaining humans at Bronx Zoo for many years, it turns out Happy isn't actually human. Um, bear with me. An animal rights group took a case to court to try to get Happy the same rights as humans and have her freed. But the judge ruled against it, saying while Happy is very smart and deserves to be happy, she's still a non-human animal. And what's this strange hairless creature doing for us? Just being super adorably cute, obviously. The aardvark pup was born on my birthday, May 10th but she's just made her debut at San Diego Zoo. Well, that's it for now. I'm gonna go frolic with my animal friends. Friends, hold on, oh no, oh no, okay. Ah!